guys, what is going on? Like me in one, two, three, are back now the other and today so I'll be reviewing the Legend and Jogo Legacy set 71700, the Jungle Raider. So without further ado, let's get into it. The minifig in this set is Lloyd Garmadon and he is in his season 4 ninja suit. I really like the amount of detailing and printing on his torso and legs. He has a really nice black stripe going diagonally down his torso with some Ninjago writing in that. I believe it might mean energy in the Ninjago language, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the golden dragon sort of print here is really cool. And then like the number four, but I'm not too sure if it actually is the number four. And then I like the color green on him. He, he even does have some like crease markings on his torso. And then this really nice sort of stripe, maybe like, sort of lime green color on him I think that is really cool his legs have a really nice belt print on him and then he does have some like maybe knee pads and then also like this really nice print here and then turning around the minifig he has this really nice print of a dragon at the back of him and then the belt does continue at the back and then he also does have this print up here but I'm not 100% sure on what it is Lloyd's accessory is this golden sword. Now I really like the mold of it and I'm glad we're getting it in a cheap set. And then he also does have this green mask on. And then his hairpiece is really cool as well. I do like the shaping of it and then the texturing of it. His first face expression, he does look pretty angry. To see the other face expression, we have to take off the ninja mask. And taking off the ninja mask, it does show the other face expression. He seems to have this sort of like maybe cocky smile or he's like in that sort of moment where he's about to smile, but I'm not 100% sure. So now I'll take a look at the build for this set and that is of course the Jungle Raider. Now at first when I took a look at the box, I was like, uh, that, that's kind of a small Jungle Raider. But then as I began to build it, I'm like, yeah, that's a pretty decently sized Jungle Raider. So I'm really proud of the sizing for the Jungle Raider. I think it's a nice sort of minifig scale sized Jungle Raider. So I really like the colors for this set, the green, the gold, and then the black. Those are the three primary colors, but then there's also a bit of dark gray. I think the gold and then the green work very well for the Jungle Raider because it does some Lloyd up as a character. He's the green ninja, and then he was previously the golden ninja. So I really like how those two colors work together. And then the black and then the dark gray also work really nicely together. So we'll start with the front and then work our way down. So at the front, there's this really nice sticker. I really like the golden dragon head print on there. And it's on this sloped tile piece. And then at the front, we do have two golden swords. One here and then one there. And then we also have like these translucent, maybe like headlights. Not too sure on if they are headlights. And then we do have these two wheels with some really nice golden rims. I really like how they did go for golden rims. And then at the side, we have another golden sword. But this time it's actually facing up. And then we have this sticker of the golden dragon like body. And then this sort of like black part for the sticker there. And then the other side is the exact same. I really like the stickers for the set even though there is three. And then like they are connected via the snot technique sort of brick or plate there. So really like that. And then you can easily put Lloyd in position like by moving up this. I really like how simple that is and it does look pretty comfortable in there for Lloyd and there is a lot of move, move to actually move him and then like the control sticker here does look really cool as well I believe that was a print really nice print I like the detailing on that print but I kind of wish they maybe like smoothed out this area here just to make it look a little more nicer and then the mechanics for like the sort of door part here is really nice a lot of like bar pieces very simple, but then also very effective, like using bar piece here, bar, and then bar, and then also another bar, and then just a few like technique pieces to give it that sort of motion. And then at the top here, it has this really nice piece with like the bars here, and then also at the bottom here. Really nice shape for that piece, and I think it works really nicely. But I believe it might be exclusive to this set, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then and then the colouring does look great as well. And then on a clip attachment we do have another sword. And then at the side here 
we do have some dark grey plates and bricks. I really like the shaping of that. I like how we can actually see like the inside of the jungle raider. And then at the back, we do have a sloped piece and then a golden sort of grill piece. And then the wheels do have suspension, which I really like. And they do use some Technic pieces. It's a really nice suspension. Like you can drive it while doing it. So that does work really nicely. And it doesn't seem to have any like faulty suspension. So like even if you have like possibly maybe these pieces down it, it still works really nicely, which I do like. And then I also like these sort of parts up here, like the wings, like you can move these sort of pieces. They do snap off very easily though, so that is quite a shame. And then just a closer look at the suspension for the wheels. I think it's a really nice suspension it's very simple but then also very effective because as you push off it from the ground the Technic piece does move here and then it does hit this really nice sort of robbery piece so then it can easily bounce back so that is really cool and then we do have this build for like maybe some headlights as well and they are at either side so now we'll take a look at the packaging for this set so the manual does have an advertisement for win and if we do open it up it does have an advertisement for the other three legacy sets for this wave and then also an advertisement for lego live and then no other advertisement and then the box art is really cool as well i especially like the front with like this jungle sort of setting and then just a few details like that and then we do have featured in season four and like this barcode scan master chen there and then we do have kai there with like his ninja mask on really nice print there and then the side does have lloyd he really like that and then at the back it does show you like how long it is the play features with it and then it also does show you some images from season four of ninjago where the jungle raider is featured overall i think this is a really nice build for the jungle raider three really nice primary colors which are black green and gold some of the features included like the suspension the sort of door part here and then like these wing pieces are really nice play features and then the design for the jungle raider is really fresh and it just looks like a really nice set but the minifig selection is pretty disappointing you only do get one minifig and then a build for 12 dollars so it would have been a lot more better to get like Lloyd and then maybe like another version of Master Chen, like an updated version, an Anachondria Warrior, I think that would have been really cool. Even maybe like a, another version or an updated version of an Elemental Master, maybe one we haven't got. So it would have been great to get another minifig, but apart from that I think the set is really cool. Now, I've seen a lot of people compare this to the other Leg Ninjago Jungle Raider, which we did get when Season 4 first did air. Now, that one does look a lot more better with, like, a really nice build, minifig. But, people who want an updated version for the Jungle Raider, I would definitely recommend it. And if you want a version of the Jungle Raider and don't want to spend, like, lots of money trying to get it secondhand. Now that would be a lot more better for this one here. But if you do want to get the original one and then also the new legacy one, then definitely go ahead because I would definitely recommend this one to anyone who wants a sort of fresh and updated version for the Jungle Raider. The build is really nice and all the reasons I did say previously.